Proper bike ride day today. I'm heading to meet Dan Hughes, who I was out in South Africa with. We're doing a bit of planning for a trip that was going to be to Greenland. It's not going to be Greenland anymore. It's missed a massive, massive altercation. What? Like 40 cyclists here. Yeah. Women who are cycling, having a lovely morning. BMW driver, typical BMW driver, <laughs> steaming in here at about eight miles an hour. Yeah. 80 miles yeah. an hour. They were in the wrong, blocking the road. He gets in trouble. All of a sudden, there's a bike down, rider down. Massive blow up. What? No one hurt. Big Good. drama, not really. But this is Richmond Park, isn't it? All sorts of stuff goes on here. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, it was funny, it was good. I'll show you the finish. You got it? Yeah. What just calm down, Ben? You're in the park. You're not in the hurry. I'm good, how are you? Very good. I'm very good. Are you coming on Saturday? To here? Yes. For a party? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. I thought we were going to Greenland. What's uh, happened? Well, basically you can't cycle in Greenland unless you're on a lilo or something like that. Fat bike in the in the, in the the ice basically in the winter. So, so now we're going to Bhutan. Uh, Bhutan 2019 July. Where's Bhutan? Uh, Bhutan. Is that near Croydon? Bhutan is basically next to uh, Nepal. Uh, it's in, in the Himalayas and it looks totally beautiful. I don't think many people are in there either, so we're hoping to uh, get the Ministry of Bhutan to help support us. It's going to be pretty really nice. Probably got more roads than Greenland. I would think so. I think we're in for a bit of a surprise. It's going to be pretty hilly with our touring bike. And uh, we're going in July. Um, weather in July is going to be hot, nice and warm, lots of flowers, but wet. So it could be pretty epic. But I'll bring my GoPro. Bring the, bring the GoPro and uh, probably a towel as well to mop up the water. I don't know what's going on, but there's a guy behind me. We've got a bigger camera than this. Yeah. I think there might be some jealousy going on there. Maybe. Yeah. I think he might have a bigger lens than you. No, I want to see. Come on. Go on, yeah, yeah. Quick little look. Still tiny look. Um, no, I haven't even shown cool. my mum yet. I'm just going to see it now. Yeah. Awesome. Look at that. She's yeah. done good. They do, they're doing a vlog. A shrog. Old people's vlog. It's called TV. <laughs> it's good TV. <laughs> happy Christmas, everyone. I bet you no one's wished you Happy Christmas yet. It's like the 15th of November. Is it the 15th? Christmas lights in London yeah, are up already. Christmas lights are up. Get a Starbucks, get 6,000 calorie, Christmas latte, frappuccino, mocha latte with, with cinnamon on top. on top. Anyone think I'm anti-Christmas? I'm not, but it's the 15th of November. Uh, come on, people. We've had an idea. And the idea is to try and get the Hamgate KOM. This is a segment which is in Richmond Park, so there's like a million people that have done it. I think one of our friends, George Gorey, Maybe, had it before. Okay. Bit of a sprinter, Dan reckons he can break it. So we're currently taking everything we can off his bike because it's quite steep and a hill. I've got the intermediate KOM and I was pretty close last time, but we'll, we'll see, right? One second last time. Yeah, it was super close. And that was after having ridden for like 60 miles. What are you talking about? We've just done 60 miles. That was a hard ride. Okay, we found a vantage point. He's riding down the road and he's going to smash it past. To the nice one, not. It looked quick. It looked quick. Let's soon find out, eh? Dot com. Trying to. Where's Gar Where's Garmin? 26 seconds. Uh, average power 896 watts. All time. Number four. One second again. One second. That is it. Oh yeah. Oh no. That was it. Yeah. And I got 32 mil tires on. On a gravel bike. <laughs> you, you, you are riding gator skin hard shells. Yeah. I deserve it, right? I'm, I must be number one with this. You ready to show me this? In the, in the South Africa videos, people were asking what bike you were on. Yeah. So I didn't film it at all. So this is the Pinarello Gan GR. Absolute beast of a bike. And actually, ever since I started riding this, it's just like transformed my cycling world because I can be riding on the road, switch the wheels over, and I can go and do like some really awesome gravel trails and then what really excites me is like this weekend gonna put some slightly thicker tires on this 
I'm gonna go up like Mount Diablo, drop down the back, do some trails. So I can do like road and trail in one ride, which is just awesome. So you got it set up as a road bike right now? Yeah, yeah. A little bit more relaxed, the, the, like the, geometry yeah, wise? Yeah, so or? the geometry is a bit more relaxed, but loosely it's based around the dogma of fate. Yeah. So if you can imagine like a full on hardcore kind of race bike machine and then throw in the fact you can hit gravel on it, it's just an absolute smasher. It's awesome. And I uh, got some new very tidy kit on it so uh, this time i was riding single chain ring and i've gone back to uh double chain ring so durace dual sided power meter at the front durace all over really so it's like a super spec bike so durace uh, c40 rims i uh, got the new di2 ortegra uh, clutch derailleur so the chain doesn't come off Those power saddle specialized power saddle um they're very popular now I, I, I love really it. Popular. I love it because I can time trial on it. I can sit on it for 200 miles, and I never get any saddle sores off this. It is um, very similar to the yeah. Roman that I've got on mine. Uh, it's very slightly wider, I think, shorter. Obviously, other brands are available and stuff like that, but for me, uh, I bought three of them. I love them that much. It's a weird aero thing going on in your stem. Stem is slightly unusual the way it kind of clamps onto it, but I uh, don't have any issues. Basically, it's like an aero cockpit type thing uh, with a carbon carbon stem. Why wouldn't someone just go and use a cyclocross bike instead of a gravel bike? Uh, the geometry is very different. Uh, although the wheelbase on this is longer than a road bike, uh, where you see the bottom bracket, that is just like a normal road bike basically. So, and for me, uh, it feels like I'm on a normal road bike because my weight distribution is the same as on a road bike. Although it has actually slightly long wheelbase, which for me makes uh, descending actually far more comfortable. And then now I've got disc brakes. Uh, it's, it's taken me from being a pretty average descender to actually, when I compare some of my like, times and stuff like that, I, I can descend a lot, lot better. I love disc brakes, absolutely the future. I'm still torn. You, you have I to. like the power, but the maintenance yeah. is what gets me because something, I, unless I'm just being an idiot with my bikes, always end up untruing the rotors and I get a little bit of zing, 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 yeah. zing, zing. Really like the, the trick with that I found is basically just to put up with it and just leave it. And it, just, <laughs> and it goes away. Yeah, it just sorts itself out. Literally, it will go ding, 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 ding for like 20 minutes. It'll piss you off. A few brake applications and all of a sudden it just trues itself. And, and actually, for someone, I, I pet my bike up every week uh, to go somewhere around the world with this thing. Uh, and so if someone's always like taking this part, putting it back together, I've really had kind of very few issues with it. <laughs> And like the modulation, so much better. The feel, the stopping power, totally convinced. Go desperate, get rid of all your rim kit. It's, it's old school. You can't say that on camera, it's real. <laughs> this, dude. Is, this is a real goodbye. Take Absolute it easy. Absolute pleasure. Uh, it's a real goodbye. Have a nice ride back. Yeah, cheers, dude. See you later. It's supposed to be 17 degrees today. Gray and miserable. Kind of bonus video today. I woke up feeling pretty lethargic and I didn't really want to film, but sometimes you just got to get out of the house. And in the end, it was a fun day. I hope you enjoyed the KOM shenanigans and a quick look at Dan's bike. It's amazing how many different brands are now making gravel machines of their own. I'm going to end today's video here. Thank you as always for watching. And I'll leave you with a little thing some people have been asking for. Bye for now.